so we have completed the preparations we have completed the chemical uh, your uh, uh, physical properties you have done some reasoning questions now we will be coming to the part b of your aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids chapter that is your chemical properties right <laughs> this is from here every reaction please try to practice it in daily basis the very important as well as the very easy because most of the reasoning questions or most of the paragraph wise questions paragraph based questions which i'll be the way you'll be getting it in aldehydes from this part of the chapter so i'll be trying and will try my level best to explain you every concept of it and i'll also give you certain reasoning questions in between please keep noting so let us start with the chemical properties or chemical reactions of aldehydes and ketones right so basically when i taught you the reactivity of carbonyl compounds based on two factors what was that one was your carbonyl compound if i take one is <coughs> this oxygen being electronegative it's going to drag the electron density and it gets a negative charge and this becomes a positive charge correct and now because of this positive charge the nuclear file whichever is attack entering or attacking is going to go and attack with this positive charge of carbon and what do you get you get carbon carbon uh, so carbon uh, bonds you get oxygen minus and your nuclear file then now here in the presence of h plus acidic medium this is going to enter or it goes and adds and you get a product in this way this is your pattern isn't it this can be anything alkyl group hydrogen any uh, any group it can be alkyl or hydrogen also so any number of alkyl groups right this is your basic thing isn't it now based on this aldehydes and ketones they're going to show different types of reactions what are they as i've listed in the uh, index uh, or the introduction of aldehydes nucleophilic addition reaction So yes, not substitution piece. Nucleophilic addition reactions. They're going to show nucleophilic addition to alkyl group, or they're going to show oxidation reactions. They'll show reduction reactions, and we'll also be doing certain miscellaneous reactions also. So let us write the heading: nucleophilic addition reactions of aldehydes and ketones, both. Right? Let us start our class. So when I speak about nucleophilic addition, so we'll just see nucleophilic addition reactions. So, nucleophilic addition reactions, which are shown by both aldehydes and ketones. Let me list out what are they first. Basically, in your NCERT textbook, it is given under like uh, they've clubbed everything together. But here, what did I do? I have separated addition reactions on ones, oxidation at ones, reduction on ones, miscellaneous on ones, so that it is easy, right? So, under nucleophilic addition reactions, remember both aldehyde and ketones, right? they are going to undergo nucleophilic addition with these reagents what do they do they are going to add hydrogen cyanide and they are going to form cyanohydrins so whenever you see hydrogen cyanide you are going to prepare cyanohydrins easy and when they are going to add with sodium bisulfite it is sulfite so so three right so they are going to form sodium bisulfite adducts sulfide adducts or addition products okay and addition products yes this is important after that aldehyde and ketone they are going to react with your uh, what do you say grignard's reagent r n g x they are going to re react with grignard's reagent and they will uh, come form alcohols i'll show you which is which is going to form primary alcohol secondary and tertiary after that important <coughs> aldehydes only not ketones remember only aldehydes not ketones aldehydes will combine with alcohol in the presence of dry hcl gas and they are going to form a compound called hemiacetyl and they will form hemiacetals and further this is going to form acetals okay i'll be teaching this basically under this heading later on i'll be dealing with the next category that is hydroxylamine semicarboxide hi <coughs> your uh, hydrazine and all these so let us write the first reaction with the heading already given in the board let us prepare cyanohydrin right so when i speak about cyanohydrin preparation now what actually is the cyanohydrin now i'm going to take an aldehyde or ketone let us take an example first let me take an aldehyde so what do we write reaction with hcl 
hydrogen cyanide it's very poisonous isn't it so hydrogen cyanide directly they will not add uh, hydrogen cyanide first they prepare it from sodium cyanide and then take that hydrogen cyanide to add to this remember that right now i'm going to take an aldehyde this is your aldehyde correct now you are going to add hydrogen cyanide so this is electronegative this is going to drag minus this is going to get minus this will become plus this is plus this is minus now observe this is your nucleophile isn't it as i told you the nucleophile goes and attacks the carbon and this one oh goes and attacks to this either you can write step by step or not not a problem in single step so what do you get carbon ch3 h and what did i say four bonds isn't it cyano to your carbon cyano to your carbon and the oxygen this is minus this is plus you get this is called a cyanohydrin cyanohydrin you can show in two steps also not a problem yes so which cyanohydrin is this now this is two carbon <coughs> yeah so two carbon what do we call we call it as ethanol eth right it or acetal acetaldehyde right anything you can start ethanaldehyde it is basically ethanaldehyde isn't it it has, we have got it from ethanaldehyde so you can write ethanol cyanohydrate not a problem yes let us come back now i'm going to take a ketone let me pick up a ketone ch3 c ch3 and c double bond now this is your ketone now what is this compound this is ethanol what is this compound acetone or three carbon propanone now i have to add hcl to this so what happens again same story this might becomes minus this gets plus this is plus this is minus the nucleophile goes and attacks carbon atom what do i get i get carbon four valency isn't it one two three four here you have two alkyl groups two alkyl groups and your cn attacks your carbon and your o attacks with hydrogen this is your h isn't it now what type of uh, cyanohydrin is this now you have three carbons from where did you get you have got from acetone or propanone you can write propanone propanone cyanohydrin yes if you still want to show this in step by step okay how can you show step by step now first what do you do in if you have to do take this right write like this i'm going to show step by step your wish c you can write this is ch3 then your h this becomes o minus and your nucleophile now this is going to get uh, like h in the presence of h plus ion this h plus will come and attack and you get a cyanohydrate both the products are same but here you're showing it in stepwise actual mechanism is this only we have shown it in single step anything will do yes done so this is your uh, cyanohydrate formation please note it